All right, hi there. My name's Matthew Nyland. I'm with Emerson, and here today we've got the Rosemount CT4215 leak detection system. This is a means to go ahead and solve customer pains where you can now actually detect leaks at line speed instead of having to use water baths and having to take samples. Now we can test every single package as it goes down the line at line speed. The key part of the Rosemount CT4215 is the quantum cascade lasers that are used inside the gas analyzer. The quantum cascade lasers allow us to both go ahead and improve sensitivity and accuracy, as well as improve the speed to be able to detect everything anywhere from 100 packs per minute up to 600 packs per minute, depending on the industry and the particular product of interest. The products and industries vary anywhere from food uh, with meat and cheese packages to beverage with beer kegs and whiskey barrels, all the way over to pharmaceutical um, canisters and aerosols. So what we're looking here is we want to be able to look at a differential measurement and look to see if this measurement will actually spike and increase when a package goes through. For any package that is pressurized, such as an aerosol can or a uh, whiskey barrel, then we can go ahead and just have it pass through a simple archway where we pull a vacuum on the sample. For meat and cheese packages, we actually have a system here where we use as a compression conveyor to squeeze the package to get that carbon dioxide that is used in MAP leak products to go ahead and get that released out of the package through the leak if it exists and then sent back into our gas analyzer to take the sample. What we have here today is a package of shredded cheese. I've got things dialed in so it can do a number of different applications so this is not honed in particularly for shredded cheese at the moment. But what we'll go ahead and do is put that through the system watch that go all the way through and then we'll look at the screen to look at the results right now this package has already been out and about for quite a while all the co2 is released i will get a fresh package now and what we're going to do is poke a hole in it using a hypodermic needle this one is a 0.5 millimeters i'm going to poke the hole try and make sure the cheese doesn't come up against it that is a limitation we always need to make sure that we can actually squeeze the CO2 out of it. Then we'll go ahead and place this on the conveyor. And now we see a spike. What we can do then is for customers be able to go ahead and hone in and specify a conveyor that will go ahead and provide the right amount of compression and get the sensitivity up and then adjust the threshold to be able to reject it. At the end of the line, because of our quantum cascade lasers, we can go ahead and detect it at a speed and then still reject at the end of the line using some air reject nozzles, paddles, or anything that is needed by the customer to then kick it off the line real time.